and welcome to another video by the AM Academy. Today we will have a look at the Einscan SE, an extremely affordable desktop 3D scanner that yields surprisingly high quality results. I was genuinely impressed when I first used this scanner at the quality and resolution of the 3D models it actually uh, gave me as results. So without further ado, let's look at what is actually in this package and what we can do with it. Now, when opening up the package, the first thing we see is the calibration plate. We will set that aside for now, as well as a little stand for the calibration plate to sit on. After we take away the styrofoam packaging, we now have the uh, turntable that is included with the scanner, a mounting bracket for the camera unit, of course, the camera unit itself, a power brick, a USB cable to connect the scanner to the computer, and another power cord to connect the uh, brick to an actual power outlet. Last but not least, we have the actual mount frame. Now this right here is actually a key component of the scanner because it guarantees an optimal positioning of the turntable and the camera unit to one another. So now that I've got everything out of the box, let's close it back up again. And then we can get to assembling and using the scanner. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is take the mounting frame and put it right here in the center. Then I will take the camera unit and snap it into place on the mounting bracket. That's very easy. And then there's a pre-mounted screw on the frame that goes into this mounting bracket, thereby securing the camera unit to the frame in an optimal angle and positioning. It cannot wiggle, it cannot go anywhere else. So that's already very simple. Then there's the turntable. The turntable has a little notch on the underside that perfectly matches uh, a corresponding notch on the uh, frame. So once again, I just plop it down in a way that the uh, notch aligns. It snaps into place and doesn't wiggle or doesn't move anywhere else. Then there's a small USB cable right here coming out of the frame. I will plug that one into the turntable and I will plug the other end into the scanner. Now we're basically already done. All we need to do is still connect the power and USB cables. So I'm going to plug this into the power brick, plug that into my scanner, and then I have a USB cable to connect to the PC, this as well. I will connect to the scanner and now connect to my PC and then we're ready for the calibration with the included calibration plate. So I'm just going to put that right here. And I'll be right back after plugging everything in. So, scanner's plugged in. Let's get started on using the software. All right. On the back of the scanning unit, there is a touch power button. So if you just touch it, the scanner will turn on. And then if you launch the software, it'll look like this. It asks you which model of the Einscan series you're actually using. In our case, it is the SE. So that is the button that I'm going to click on the software, I scan SE, and it will start launching the software. Now, because I've already calibrated the scanner once, it'll go straight into scanning. I'll take the step back because after unpacking and installing a 3D scanner, the first thing you always have to do is calibrate it. Uh, this is particularly true if you go into new locations with different lighting setups. So I'm going to stop this and go into the calibration process. And now I will simply follow the on-screen instructions. Now right here, you see that I have a little bit of glare on the monitor. Let's see whether this is a bit better. So basically, this right here shows me what the scanner is seeing from its left and right cameras. Right here, I have my on-screen instructions for what to do with the calibration plate. In this case, for example, it wants the three dots, the big dots, to be at the bottom and uh, to just position this plate perpendicular to the scanning unit. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I will click capture. 
Now I simply wait. The scanner will rotate the calibration plate 360 degrees and thereby capturing it after each little turn, this helping it calibrate its positioning, the lighting, the white balance, all of these things that the scanner needs uh, in order to actually capture models accurately. Okay, first step done, new on-screen instruction. It wants me to rotate my calibration plate 90 degrees so the dots are upright, and it wants me to align the right-hand edge with the right-hand edge of the turntable. So, precisely what I'll be doing, and then clicking Capture. Once again, I simply wait for the scanner to do its thing, rotate 360 degrees, then it is ready for the next step. Great. Now, once again, new on-screen instruction, rotate the plate another 90 degrees and align the edge on the left-hand side. Once I've done that, I simply click Capture again, and this will be the last step for the actual dot calibration. All we need afterwards is the white balance. Now, as you can see, this entire process has been painless, easy, and not very challenging. So anyone can do this, even if untrained, the on-screen instructions always provide you with exactly what it, the scanner wants you to do, uh, making this a very simple process. Great. Now we've got this ready. It will calibrate until the uh, it's got all its values aligned and it actually knows how to calibrate. This can take some time depending on your computer and its performance and how well the calibration process actually went. So don't be impatient, just wait a bit. You have that loading bar at the bottom to see where exactly you are. Perfect, the calibration was successful. So this was the first step. I click next, and now it wants me to do the white balance test. So now I take the board, I flip it around so it shows the white side, and then um, I, well, place it on the stand again so the camera can see it. You can see a nice white surface, and now I simply press white balance test. And there we go. That one was a very short one. It goes through it with different lightings. You can kind of see it down here with the colors. Um, and uh, thereby calibrating. Well, it's white balance, which is uh, what we're doing here. White balance calibration success. So that was the calibration process. The scanner is now ready to use. So I'm going to take this calibration plate and uh, set it aside right here. Uh, normally, I would put it back into the packaging so it doesn't get damaged, doesn't get lost, but right now, uh, well, I don't want to get the package out again, so I'll just keep it right here.